Remember one time I told you that there was this company that sells kind of like organic stuff and they deliver to your door? Well, I decided to give it another try. They were having a sale on their teas. So I pick up a couple and I really, I'm really excited about this one, especially because it has elderberry. Um, a lot of um, providers in my job swear by this because it's kind of like organic, natural, and it really helps boost your immune system. I have this one kind of for night, and I like these teas because the only ingredients are the teas. It doesn't have any like natural flavors or things like that that they like to add. I have this other one. I really like enjoying them at night and I pick up vitamin D because I was a little low on my vitamin D and I like this one that is plant based and the only ingredients are spinach, uh, mushroom and quinoa and it's non-GMO so I'm really excited to try this one and also pick up some cashews because I wanted to make some cream and here's another one that has endel berry and then it also has this one that I heard is really good for stress and it helps you calm your nerves. And I pick up, which one is this one? Oh, I pick up two of those. Because I wanted to give one for my mom. Oops. Then this other one, it has that one. It helps relieve stress. And they have really good reviews and people really, um, enjoyed it oh and some vegan gum really like it because it doesn't have any artificial flavors and it's um it's a little bit kind of like healthy gum so i really like this one so that's what i pick up on this box and this is not a sponsor by the way i just really wanted to try their products or the kind of like the sample box and that's what i pick up oh and we recently got that new vacuum over there I love it. It mops and vacuums and it leaves the floor squeaky clean. Really, really love it. Today is the first day of the daytime change healer in the United States. So I'm going to take advantage of the sun. Now the sunset, it's about 7.30 to 8, which makes me really excited because then I can do more stuff during the day and then um, take advantage of the afternoon and go for a nice bike run. So come with me. Ricardo's mom invited us to Olive Garden tonight, so I just wanted to dress up a little bit today. I'm wearing a nice pretty pink dress and my high heels, the skin color, and I'm just gonna leave my hair like this, a little bit curly to the side. morning took Rocky now for a nice morning walk now I'm going to make some um, scrambled tofu and maybe go to the outlet mall later to buy a couple of gifts for a couple of family members and I'm going to show you a little bit of the recipe I'm gonna make at Colombia we always make a lot of arepas so I'm going to be recreating kind of like a scrambled egg with this organic tofu and some arepas, I usually put it on the air fry with a little bit of butter and salt and pepper and it turns out really good. All right, just finished washing all the produce. I usually wash it with um, a fruit or vegetable cleaner and sometimes with vinegar and water in a cold bath. And then I usually cut it up and put it in little frozen bags and organize them in my freezer like this, that way None of the produce goes bad and then we have plenty for pretty much months to come. So, so I'll show you that and uh, you can use any uh, permanent marker or any marker on the bags and just with a little bit of soap and water the um, marker or the name comes off and if you want you can reuse the bag or you can also buy these leaves. 
reusable bags from Amazon. I use them for my dog's uh, frozen meat and I just wash them, not in the dishwasher though, because they will damage the closing section just with soap, hot soap and water and it's just great. So I thought I'd share that little trick with you if you like to make your produce last a little bit longer. I try to incorporate a lot of um, green leaf vegetables on my recipes or anything that I make and then I also started recently using a blend of different mushrooms they're really good for your immune system I usually try to sprinkle a little bit on our meals so just take like a little spoon small table uh, teaspoon and just sprinkle it around On our way to the outlet mall, I just wanted to show you my outfit really quick. I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail today and I'm wearing some heart earrings. Not sure if you can see it. There we go. And then I did my makeup a little bit pink. That way it will match with my shirt. And then I'm wearing some high waist jeans along with my pink shirt with my pink tennis shoes. That way it will match. And I feel very girly and very sporty at the same time. So I'm excited to walk around and I'll take you with me so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna try to make another vegan recipe today. I'm going to make these really delicious vegan shepherd pies. And then I have Rocky over there on the screen. I'll show you, he's just looking around and barking. made a mess. Great. Hmm. It actually tastes really good, although I can taste the broccoli a little bit. Didn't turn out that bad. Maybe I'm thinking I'm gonna leave a little bit longer in the oven. That way the um, cauliflower crust can cook a little bit longer and then it can have like that crunch. Um, flavor kind of taste hmm. good evening 
Um, I, we invited my family over and we had a nice afternoon. Now I'm just going to catch up in a little bit of blog posting. I have to schedule a couple of Pinterest things in Buffer. And my mom brought me these beautiful flowers that just add a beautiful touch of life to the apartment and they make me very happy as they are so bright. Um, I have a little bit of wine left over and a little bit of the food I made so I'm excited to just indulge in that while I schedule some of the posts and then catch up on some reading before I have to go to bed. I work three days the next um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then I'll have the weekend off so let's see what we do together. <laughs> 